Okay, we've got transcoding. Right, okay, I think that's everything. I think we're live, and yeah, yeah, I think that's that's about everything. I'm testing out these headphones, to be honest. Not sure how they're doing. Let's take a look. Not sure how they're doing. Let's take a look. Not sure how they're doing. Let's take a look. Sure in. Doing. Good Let's evening. Welcome a... to the stream. KP Alexander, is the game a bit loud? Is that a bit better? Can you hear me? game seems a little loud okay well we can the right mute every time i do it right how's that so i've i've completed prey before but they've added new game plus i've already done like another playthrough but there's also this moon crash thing as well. These are the new headphones. There you go, you can see them now. They're really, really, really comfortable. You, you barely know you're wearing them. And yet you hear everything. Plus you can hear people talking in the room and and all the rest of it. Um, they're really good. They came with a nice box. Where I? Hang on, I've got the... I'll show you. Which ones are they? These are uh, the Sennheiser 5... Nine nines. Can you see that there? It's silver, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah. So they come like this. Um, quite a chunky box, actually. Um, th 
do they come with the Kalos seal of approval? They are. The only thing I think I would like better than these is the HD 500s. Because apparently they're a flat sound, but I've no way to absolutely know because um, <laughs> there's no way I could afford to buy uh, both and then A, B them. Can I get in this thing? Yeah, the, the car, even the box is surprisingly well made, he said, fighting to get in it. Yeah, this is the box. It comes in like this. It's even the inside of oh you can't see that can you? The inside of the box is um, is got the foam that side, and then can you guys see? Probably completely pitch black. But the inside of the box has got you know like a foam case thing for them and everything else you get two different cables like this and the cable does that goes in and then kind of twists and locks and then you get a three and a half to three and a half short cable and then this nice long kind of rubberized one here uh, sound quality, um, superb. I mean, really surprised me how good uh, it is. It's very clear. There's no, um, you know, a lot of headphones have a very hype top end and low end. Uh, these don't. They, they're just very smooth. The earpiece is big. You see there? And it's very deep, so when they're on your head like this, hey, Sav, uh, when they're on your head, I need to cut my hair, when they're on the head, they don't touch your ears at all. My ears are, nothing's touching my ears, and yet I hear, um, yeah, they did. They came when they were supposed to on Monday, but... These are the old tired ones for comparison. <laughs> they sound terrible next to these. No, they don't, but they sound hyped. Um, like the when I first put them on, I thought, oh, are these okay. You know, because I'm so used to the sound of those. So I, I cleared my ears by going out of the house and, and whatnot. Um, came back, just put them on, turned the volume up till it was comfortable, and then just sat and watched things I'm used to, like, you know, various YouTubers and stuff I'm used to. Uh, and let my ears get used to them. Then I went back to those, like a reverse test kind of thing. And they sound really hyped in the top end uh, and over boosted in the low end in comparison. When I compare them back to my studio monitors. I mean, for the price... Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're going to do much better. Right, so what I've been playing today... Actually, Sav, you're another good pair of ears. Test how loud the game is versus me. I've turned it down by 12 dB at the moment. I'm waiting for it to play the music again so you can go and get a a sense of um, where it's at. So they introduced New Game Plus. You can see here. But there's also this moon crash thing which I've sort of had a go at and it's like every time you play it you can hear the, the game music. Am I much louder about the right volume for it or... Because I want, I want the game to sort of have a presence as well, obviously. But how's that sounding? This music is quite loud. The game music is quite low compared to your voice. Okay. 
How about now? Does it sound about somewhere near where it should be? It does have explosions and things in it, doesn't it? This works, okay. So I've already started one new game plus. Do you want to watch me carry on with that? Or do you want to watch me do new game plus from the beginning? You see the music's getting louder there. Because it does, it sort of goes up. It's very dynamic and you, God, you notice it in this. Uh, carry on from where I'm up to, but then you're sort of, you are all like jumping in without knowing where the hell I'm up to, aren't you? Yeah, it does, it kind of, it, it rises quite dramatically. In my ears it sounds okay, but I'm not on the stream. Plus, you always hear yourself a little louder when you're wearing headphones, because you're also, especially with open back, my ears don't get hot at all. To, to nothing. Uh, tell us where. Oh, I've done loads. Actually, right. We've got New Game Plus. So, this is where I ended the last game. So, scientist with 10 abilities, engineer with 16, security of that. I only had one morph ability, and that was the only, um, you know, uh, what do we call them? The mimics and, and whatnot. Typhoid. You've all seen the beginning of the game, though. If I load game... Campaign 2, I'm at the crew quarters and I've just picked up the golden gun. But I've done all the... how long's that? Four, yeah, I'm four hours in there, so... What if we do New Game Plus... Campaign 1, and we're going to start again... In Normal. So we're going to start a, a, a new one in there. Right, and usually I play the guy. Do you want to play the girl? Shall I play a, a lady um, Morgan or a man Morgan? Play the girl. She's better looking by far. We'll go with the girl. <laughs> Playing a... I'm a lady. <laughs> So, um, a few of you have probably had this beginning of the game kind of spoiled, I would imagine. You wake up, you're in your apartment, but actually, you're not. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. That's ah, 2032. It's 10 years from now, Savik, but it's an alternative timeline. That alarm really feels like it's there. The, the stereo uh, field with these is amazingly good. The, you know, how different left and right feel and how hey, far Morgan. apart they are Wake is fantastic. Up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're going to shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Do you want me to read out emails for you guys as well? So glad to hear you're coming aboard soon. Your first work day is March, Monday 15th. But first with a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear your life for the orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and see you soon. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package over with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe and a Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing this morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch, Alex. Ready? From Alex again. Just got off the phone with mum and dad. They won't be here when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff, but they send the best. I think mum's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gra gravitational pull at the same time. 
She said, you better behave and do everything your big brother says, okay? Actually, she says the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mum. Anyway, hope everyone's excited. Your new ideas. I'll probably grab some call. Make sure you're up. See you very, very soon. Morgan. Okay. The reflections in the display. Well, the whole game engine's really quite good. No point picking any of this up because we know what happens. So it's New Game Plus, but obviously I don't have an inventory. I just have, you know, what you start off with, which is nothing. Um, and it's not until you get to your office that makes any difference. Which is kind of creepy. Note. Congrats, Morgan, from Alex. Right, so, uniform. Then I've got a Neuromod to install, apparently. I don't know where that is. Anyway. Here's my apartment. Hello, fish. <laughs> well, what's going on on the floor? There's lots of subtle clues about what's actually going Morning, on. Morning, Miss You. That you don't realise. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. <laughs> right. Roof. All these locked doors, roof access. It all looks very real, doesn't it? We've got to go through the title screen, I think. Let me know about the music volume, I can always adjust it. I, I love the music in it though, I think the music in the game is great. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Yeah, when you operate computers in this, it's by, um, like, literally clicking on the screen, etc. So I had maximum hacking, I could lift anything, That's a I could nice jump view high, on the bay there. sprint lock, you know, I'd all that. But I don't get any of those upgrades until I reach Morgan's office, is the way they do New Game Plus. Which is kind of cool. Did the titles. Plug them in. Here we are, Ms. You. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Okay, so we're gonna be kind of going quickly for this, I think. Hello, Dr. You. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. <laughs> That's not a good sound inside a lift, is it? It sounds like more like an alarm's going off. Morgan, finally. Here's the strangeness on the floor. Again.
You'll look happy. All right, then. Alex, you. You have to go hey. through this. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Okay. Listen. Tip. What if I told you you could turn a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. Um, be yourself. Blah, blah. I'll see you after. Okay, test number one. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? How is the stream Wonderful. looking for everybody Press anyway? The red is it okay? When you're ready. Break, will it? Uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. <laughs> I'm trolling the game a bit. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hmm. Uh, any <laughs> synaptic register? At all? No, me locks. Looks great to me. Thank no? you. Good to hear. No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. <laughs> I am just trolling the game at this point. See, they think that you have, you know, the Typhon powers. All right. Here we this go. makes sense this by, test, by way of explanation later on, the room which is quite clever, the way they've done it. In the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Someone? They're expecting Einstein Morgan exactly to have powers and Did whatever. Double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Silly boy, 78. I may be late to the Can party, but I, oh, I love this play I field of Anarchy it. Online. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Let's have a bit of fun with this as well. This is New Game Plus Plus. All right, we're going somewhere familiar. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Eh, it was worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. <laughs> Runaway train. Screw him. Not your problem, right? Uh. Push the fat man. Almost done. <laughs> the runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. 
Push the fat man. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask uh -oh. you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Oh, oh my God! Security! Security! Oh no! Something terrible has... Have you never played this, Savik? Sorry, I'm trolling the game because I've, I've played about four times. Alex. And done different builds so and stuff. Never played. Okay. On? We have a problem. What about Morgan? I'll, I'll try She's not alive, to spoiler sedated. it too much for you then. Clean it up. Except no more, watching it will spoiler it, obviously. Now, the thing is, they, they did this reveal in some of the trailers and promo morning, stuff. Morgan. Which Today is Monday, I think March is a 15, mistake, but. 2032. Now you wake up and everything's exactly the same. Or is it? <laughs> no morning phone call. What is going on? Pick up all the scrap items, loot all the things. Six emails, danger, leave now. Oh. <laughs> Congrats, yes. Okay. pick up all the things because you can recycle stuff in this game there's a load of books and stuff to read as well but we'll be here all night before we've left the apartment if I go through all of it so okay uniform Things have changed. What's happened to our friend down here? Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. Where did the doorway go? January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. <laughs> We're in a lab! <laughs> there you go. Yes, all along you've been living a lie. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Look, wake up call, helicopter arrival, pigeon test. Emails. Uh, you've been on branch of main product line. You sometimes know we need to put in extra effort, blah, 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 blah. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get useful re results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Euromod installation and removal. A note about this morning. I know this morning's in incident has left people shaken to prevent unnecessary panic. Please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Mr. Elzar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma centre. Is critical but stable condition. <laughs> He's way worse than critical. Yes, we've been in. We've been a lab rat without even knowing about it. Uh, Kataya, welcome to the stream. I normally stream a different game, but tonight is Wednesday, so. 
I'm doing different games. Now, this is new game plus plus. So you get the progress on the newer mods you've had in the previous playthrough once you reach the office. So you, you're kind of starting quite powered up. Where's that little sucker gone? I had quite a few neuro mods by the end of the game. The safe code is rubbed out. Now, the other thing this game does is it dynamically changes codes and stuff. Mostly. So even if you wrote down every code you used from your previous playthrough, when you play through again, it's different. Bad install. Simmons, the test results were all negative. Did you install the correct Neuromod? What happens with Neuromods is once they're installed, you have the power and you carry on with your life. When you uninstall them, your memory resets to the day they were put in. Now, this code stays the same and I remember it because it's a brilliant <laughs> oh, I haven't got my uh, thing on yet get to the main lobby <clears throat> now that code is one of the few that actually stays the same which is why I know it works but most of them do change The, uh, the layout design for most of the floors and floor pan plans is kind of amazing as well in this game. And it was free on Epic for a little bit. You see, they could come and spy on me in my room. See sign. Do not open the door while simulation is in progress. So what's happened is we've been kept in this room and at the end of the tests, they're removing the newer mods every time. So we're left with no memory of being here or doing the tests. Effectively living the same day every day. I see you. So now we have to find the way out. We've just gone around in a big circle. That was a mimic. It can turn into anything similar sized anywhere around it. So if you see two cups on a table, maybe it's not two cups. I don't think we can get through. No. Uh huh. There's the pretend helicopter we've been getting in. Mechanisms jammed. Not many, Benny. There you go. Morgan's behaviour. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan has forgotten everything from the last test, as expected. 
but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start chain charting personality drift before future tests and debriefings within the test itself. I'm not your goddamn lab rat anymore. Transcribe. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Ew, they were looking down on me while I slept in my bed. Savik is probably never going to play this game because the spiders are creepy. <laughs> I'm used to having a lot more stamina on this character. on roof. Here we go. Mmm, convincing. You can turn the looking glass off. Let's get on. Just keep deep into the way. Yeah, it mute and made an extra three. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. I'll be fine once I get to the office and get all my upgrades. <laughs> See what I mean? You just can't trust anything around you. You've got to read all these. Urgent, there you go. Look, things like this. Dr. Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma centre and grab a key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Next week's test. Area of effect, copycat, spooky action. So they were already gearing up new tests. I will lurk while I do some work. I like it. Harvesting flowers. Why? Are you, I will become clear, Sav. You don't have any hacking yet, so you can't hack the computer. <laughs> Try again, Mimic. Use <sighs> uh, then. The white paper you and Alex wrote in nutshell version, gaining a new skill from Neuromod works similar the way to your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So you want to strip the Neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Lietner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They, they wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype Neuromods, that means going way the hell back. Hence, the apartment sim. News are dedicated to the science is all I can say. So yes, they, they've been lab ratting Morgan all this time. Need a key card. Drinking and eating heal you as well. One too many chairs. <laughs> Ah! 
ran off. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah! That wasn't there before. Did we find a key card yet? Aha! Cool mechanic makes you paranoid. Yeah, it is. Very clever. And it is a proper uh, PG in that it's your decisions that affect things and how you would... You know, like, do I use the key card? and go straight through the door here or do I not find the key card, climb up here and go through a maintenance tunnel instead that was a phantom. Typhon, so Echo very much like a deus ex or you know that sort of game or thief or you know system shot There's a big thing somewhere. I've got no engineering skill yet. A mimic covered in goop. Ah! The glue cannon. There's a person up here as well. Uh -uh. Fail. the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Pick up the neuromod from Neuromod Division. Yeah, glue gun. You can build ladders and stuff with it. In the conference center. I know the mimics are out there. I can see them. Robert? Alice, thank God. No one else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I can't... Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Okay, I picked up a new remod. I'm dodging these ones just to get to this office quick. Normally I would explore every inch before kind of going anywhere else, but because it's a stream, I'm trying to <laughs> go, go through with a little bit of uh, haste more than I would normally. There are way worse things than mimics in the game. Ready for your first real view of the world? We're orbiting the moon, although the dimensions and every well, scale is way off. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. And the reason you pick up all the, cr the junk, crap, used cigars and whatnot is that you recycle them into organic matter, which you need if you're making bullets 
and cartridges for the children. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. So all the junk is worth picking up. Hiding from the monster. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Okay. Turrets are firing at it. Goody good. <laughs> it's like you just really don't trust the damn thing in here. They've probably got guns and such in there. But it is the locked. There's a big one in there. Okay. Run, 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 run. I knew that was coming. <laughs> so I was kind of prepared for it. Hide behind the turret. <laughs> this is new game plus plus though. So. Note. Password. Oh my god, hot boss. Your office code is 0451. Just like Deus Ex. The first code you have to input. Trauma Center again. The room needs some support and volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 8194. The old, so there's a code for something later. And the whole game is just literally full of stuff like that. It's really cool. So you can use your number keypad or you can use your mouse. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. So all this stuff that I've picked up, you can see there flowers and bits and bobs. I can go up to a machine like this one and store it all there. I can do the same with food as well if I want. Well, with anything really, because you, you pick up lots of the same weapons and you think, well, I don't need three, um, you know, wrenches. So you recycle them into raw materials. Pick them all up and then you find another machine. He said, picking up more scrap. Wrench fabrication. Then you can go to this machine and they're dotted everywhere. Some are broken. You have to repair them first. And you can make all these different items. Obviously, this is the start of the game, so I don't have many. Because you sort of learn more as you go. Right, before we do any more, let's get our stuff. The psychoscope was a breakthrough. 
Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos See, all my stats have suddenly Use it jumped up and everything. Organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Of course, we have no memory of doing so. So now, my, inv my inventory is massive. Um, and these are the newer mods I had on my last playthrough. So I had... This was so I could get organs out of the mobs when I was killing them. And then use them to make more complicated stuff with exotic matter. Uh, a bit more health and... All the hacking skill, all the slots for the head scanner. Lift anything I want. Uh, kind of uh, temper, I suppose, or modify the guns to be as good as possible. Repair, suit modification. I can break down equipment while it's in my inventory. Um, and then I think I went for these after the fact. Oh, and the, the only alien power I ever used was that. The ability to turn into something which looks like this. That's me. I am now a little clock. <laughs> How freaky is that? You know, I can do the whole thing that the other one did. So now I'm a cup. Cool, huh? Very handy for getting in and out of places. Good morning. Plan you requested in there. So, utility. Let's check our email first. You made it. Do not disturb. Okay, and utilities. Play. Now, how did I know the code on that door? I will show you. So this is the looking glass, as it's referred to. It's kind of their version of 3D. <laughs> like a hologram, but it's in front of you, rather than you wearing a headset. So Hello, Morgan. Says, Tough day, right? In that very I'm room we were in. It must be. Your memory is shot full of holes, I know. And that's I'm where sorry, I know the code is from. It's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator. A sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. We don't believe you. I don't have the card for here yet. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. There's various guides that tell you where you find the card and things like that. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the looking glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Why are 
other two pistols. Now I do a lot more damage with the <laughs> with the uh, wrench as well because this is how I finish the game minus some hardware. Dun, 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 dun. Now I've got a pistol. Where are you, mimic? Come on. You're here somewhere. <laughs> it's an unmodified pistol. There's a much better one we're going to try and get later. But I don't want to waste ammo on these little things. Trying to find the little sucker again. But you never really know. See, now I've got all my hacking ability and, and whatnot. And I'm much stronger. That's someone that's been taken over. No, you dead. They do do quite a bit of damage. You can drop the difficulty right down. So they do nearly none. But then there's nearly no reason to be worried about them. You can just kind of ignore the mobs. More neuromods. Some of these notes and stuff give you codes and if you forget the password for so and so, it's and it's on, you know, the, the notepad. Stuff like that. Very well thought out, very well designed game. So you can you can do you know, find a way to get through something fifty million ways if you choose to. Or you could go a more predictable route and the game will allow it. Or you could be more unpredictable and the game will still um, try and figure out what you should and shouldn't be able to do. Like right now it wants me to go into here, but before we do that, for the people who've never played, i.e. Sam, you get suit upgrades. I need to remember that I haven't got any yet. You get like a... Um, or you, you construct like a jetpack. Means you can just jump off ledges and stuff. And then just hit the, the uh, thrusters at the bottom. And you're alright. Okay. Ah, he hit the bloody thing. Uh-oh. How far back was the save? Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Maybe heal up before I go on. Actually, I've got a few more Neuromods now. So... We could do get another boost to health. Spend eight neuromods on that. This will freak you out though, Sav. This is how you install them. <laughs> oh, no. You just wouldn't do it, would you? It doesn't do it every time, it only does it the first time you install a Neuromod. 
thank God. How does it feel? Do you remember? The first time you said it was like you were outside yourself, like time itself had bent its knee, waiting for you to decide. You moved my chair without touching it. It gave me chills. The possibilities. You became something. Knew that day. Something higher. I knew then, as I believe now, that our mission is to lift up all humanity in the same way. That big guy's still down there. Let's get into the trauma center. Embracer for a, a crew member. Run away! <laughs> I just threw an explosive canister at it. Not good. It's not happy. There's a fire one over there. Should have used reload before I started that. The shotgun that we really need. Nearly dead though. Did the fire get? It? No, because the fire didn't get it. <laughs> oh God! Get away from it! Carrying that, where's he gone? <laughs> Shooting fire at me. I think that was a different one. Fire one's still alive. They both dead. That, that is normal difficulty. You want it hard, play it. The hard difficulty is just unbelievable. It's like one hit and you're dead. On the easier settings, they're, they're a lot easier to deal with. Especially with shotguns and things like that. But we don't have a shotgun yet. Unfortunately. There's a secret safe behind there that I know about. So spoiler time everyone. <laughs> we get our psychiatric um, review and the psychologist's review on different people that you're going to interact with later. I would push the plunger Tell after I put it in front of my... Yeah! The dream. Yes. It's, um... 
It's always in my lab, and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you going to start this glass? test? I know uh, a solution for the safe. Uh, Watch first, this picture over here. I don't want to turn it on. Is a? But I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When C. I do, it's like the heart of a black B. hole. An immense darkness. There's something a. swimming in and the black. And again. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like? The shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No, 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 that, that's... No, I, I don't... Uh... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Transfer Hello, are you ready for an appointment? Diagnosing. Medical droid, heal me up. Medical, medical operator, Savic Star. You're alive. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Okay, there's a dude trapped in here. Subject appears disorientated, paranoid, not sure how much of the current behaviour is due to the incident versus his recent Euromod removals. So he's been mind controlled. If we open the door, I think he dies. But on the wall is a safe Research code. Complete. I know what it actually says. But if I open the door, I kill him. I don't want to kill him. I could hack this now. I'll show you the hacking mini game just so you can see it. You literally have to move your little guy around and then depending on the difficulty is how many more. Red things are a pain. There you go. That's the, the hacking game. Oh, he's gonna die. He saw me. Sorry, my dude. 7324. There you go. That's a code for Hello. something nice later. System alert. So you find needed, yourself please. constantly picking things up. Wade, please, please, with the cherry on top, fix the medical operator Practic sitting on your desk. But I will. So I can actually. Thank you. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical can handle. And heal Please myself. Hold still. This will only take a moment. There. All better. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Hello. Nice to see you. Right. Is there anything in here we didn't break? You can destruct loot as well as bodies and God knows. So, going completely gung-ho is not always the answer. Patient tested possible for non-small... Patient did not list any ailments on their submission form prior to be taken on the skill recorder. Contact this patient immediately. If the patient is on Talus 1, have him report to the trauma centre as soon as possible. So there you go. We don't have Regina Sellers' password. You can look under the desk. People leave... Their passwords on post-it notes and stupid things like that. So here's a level three hack by someone who is terrible at mini games and tries to avoid them most of their life. I like the one in Deus Ex. Yay, we succeeded. Emails. Uh, patient ask access. Uh, Alex Yu, she claims she needs bi-weekly booster of Neurostimprexen to offset mild physiognomic fatigue, but um, SP is a treatment for many ailments, including paraplexis, muscle paralysis due to neuronal disorder. If it is a, 
If it is late onset white noise, then this could explain why Ilshlin has no neuromods, simply because she has refused them, morning, as she claimed the brain has never been scanned, Dr. which I also found like unusual. Especially for a trans star employee, I requested a file to see if any member of a family had a disorder, but those of her parents are also not accessible. Engineer Lucian has, has cleared Earthside. What exactly is the problem? Regina Sellers is checking up on her as well. I think it turns out Morgan and her had a bit of a fling at some point, but it didn't pan out kind of thing. Download area map. Tell me to go to level three and the hardware lambs. So there's loads of little goodies and nuggets of information everywhere. Incoming casualties. And then you got this crew stuff here. You can go find all the different um, crew, missing crew members. They're, they're usually dead and or have something interesting on them. Okay, let's go in here. So to get in there, I want that apple. And then, I'm going to drop the apple. Become the apple. And now I'm in here. Some of the trying to loot and whatever. Yeah, that's a way of doing it. There's like a, a thousand other ways you could have done that. But we just did this way. Otherwise, you stood there going, How can I get in there? It's impossible. The door is broken. And it's like, Aha, no, there is a way. Also, we can now use the recycler in here. Store all junk. Uh, probably some of this as well. And here's something I'd like for Anarchy Online. Press Y to auto sort. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's how I want my inventory. <laughs> oh, I drank the alcohol instead of recycling it. Never mind. Okay, and then you. Play. You seem frustrated. I have months that are just gone. I've been listening to the logs. Yeah, but in your research, inventory, though. Playing catch up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. I thought the recording would carry on. So that's the psychologist talking to one of our former selves. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That Morgan is not me. I would never. I thought I picked Do you up know bullets. what's going on in We need bullets. Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them. You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth. Morgan. I said no. Okay. I'm going to call Alex. He's smarmy getting he? <coughs> 
All right, we're going to go back to our office. Make some ammo. Because <laughs> we really need to. Because we have, like, none. And hopefully we can make a fair bit of ammo. I don't know. We're going to need it, I think. So, can I make pistol ammo? I can make bullets! There we go. We have the bullets. Yes, we do. Yeah, one more. This, th this pistol's not that great. There's another pistol you can get later. Um, it's literally titled the Golden Gun. Oh, I wonder if we got a um, key card for down here yet. I don't think we do. Before we go anywhere near Stand the hardware labs. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. That's the turret scanning me. Oh, I've got one neuro mod um, installed. So it it's one of their powers. So when it scans me, it goes, oh, there's a little bit of Typhon there, but it's not completely Typhon. I won't shoot it. Whereas if you decide to go for like full on neuromods, you know, like, right, I want telepathy for mind control. I want to morph into big stuff. Uh, I want to set fires and, you know, all these like mega powers. Then unfortunately, the turrets start attacking you because they think you're a Typhon. So the decisions you make in the game do affect how it works for you. Okay. So your play style will affect the, you know, the, the, your experience of the game, which is awesome. Oh, I should repair my armor. <laughs> And I'll forego that for now. Let's try and go sneaky muck sneak face. Corrupted uh, repair droids do the opposite of repairing things, they kill you. This difficulty they'll probably kill me quite quickly. There's a lot of big scary stuff in the game. Telescope looking at something twinking away in the background there. Not sure if that's seen me or not. Has you seen me? New supervisory override received. you. Hide around the desk and like loot every damn thing.
I'm not sure if it knows where I am or not. I can shoot at it and all that, but... I want it to come away from there. There's a staircase over there I can hack my way into. Yeah, the Zyorg guy would definitely say pushing the plunger after you've got it in the correct position, otherwise you're gouging through half your cranium with the, the spikes into your brain. Trying to back away from it as well because I know damn well they blow up after you've taken them down. The nice chill music in the uh, the lounge here. All right, we don't have the code this but we can do the hack yeah oh, I don't like this layout at all it is way harder to control than you think this little cursor thing and the clock is ticking while you're doing it so yeah even more fun He's too late for him. Oh, there's like nine bullets to take him down. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. Yeah, loads of cool stuff to read as well in dotted all over the world little things you know to humanize all the people random vandalism yep vandalism for the win i've played system shock 2 When it, well, back in the 90s, wasn't it? The, was it, no. System Shock, the first game was 94, and then the next one was like 97 or something like that. I did play it though, yeah. Played a demo of it and went, oh, this is real. You remember when we got game demos on CDs? Do you remember that time? DVD or CD came on a PC magazine, like PC Gamer. And you'd get like a CD with it and it would have a demo or two of a game. Like the the crisis demo was so big, people said, well, there's a point of buying the game. <laughs> but yeah, I played the demo of that and just went out and bought it immediately after. Note, if you forget the code, ES and Xeon. Can't remember what ES is, Xeon. So what's ES? Yeah, the the original Prey is nothing like this. It's a great game. XE is 54 on the periodic table. ES is 99. So we want 9954. And I typed it wrong. There we go. Anti-rad fabrication, okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, yes, there is. And briefcase. Yeah, the original Prey game, you were a Native American captured by um, aliens. <laughs> they brought in elements that are not that dissimilar from uh, what Portal did. Einsteinium. 
That mimic just went all the way around me and didn't see me. You know I'm here now though, don't you? Yes, is Einsteinium, yeah. XE is Xeon, isn't it? Or is it? Probably not. I've probably got that wrong it's years since I've used the periodic table. Okay, so that's where we came up, and then we are going over. Ever seen a cat that's hung over? Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> I don't think it is, but funny. Uh, hang on. No sound. Just the cat with his tongue out. Bless him. <laughs> what I'm going to do for this, though, is... We'll go, we'll go all the way down to there. Just to make it a bit more fun. For the stream... You don't have to go back and repeat stuff we've already just done, do we? Watch out for these guys. Now, some of the newer mods I've got, because this is New Game Plus, is stuff like... I've got Mobility 2, so I can jump stupidly high and sprint really, really fast, so I can run away from a lot of these mods. Normally, you just can't run away from them. Now on easy, it's like this. You take less damage, really. They're quite hard to kill still. Not as hard, but you take a lot less damage from them. So you can be a bit more in your face with your playstyle. The headset's useful when you can't where the hell's that mimic? The headset will find it for you. Provided. I've only got fear shielding at the moment. Okay. Well, that's going in there. Found another dead body. With a wrench and a fried hard drive. We're hunting mimics. Die, mimic, die. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll hack this. This is an easy one. As bits of the space station are blowing off. Do you remember Gabe, Doc, Gabe, dear Mr. Gluey McGlue Face Arms, aka First Shift, a bow to thee. At first I thought the jelly deal hat could not have been topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Yeah, if you need supplies, the closet key code is 9464. And thankfully you're, <laughs> you're, you have an amazing memory. You want to see um, Gluey McGlue face? There he is. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gluey McGlue face. But we have to break him to get all the stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to leave him because he's too funny. So the game, as well as being like a um, haunted house kind of a game, you know, like, oh no, it's out to get me. Jump scares and all that as part of it. It's also, uh, it's, it does have its humour as well. You know, in the horror of continually finding horribly mutilated people, notwithstanding. And there's tons of um, literature to read as well which I I'm not going to read them all out because we'll end up doing a you know 80 hour playthrough 
Um, <clears throat> and we have other things to do this week. Yeah, you can stand there healing yourself up for one point a time, drinking out of water fountains as well. That's a legit strategy. Just saying. Okay. You can bypass a lot a of the lot mobs of as well just by sneaking here. past them. If that's more your preferred playstyle. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Ah. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum, no gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. You better do that then, and then we're going on a spacewalk. There's a golden gun in the crew quarters I know about. Nothing like a bit of paranoia to spice up your life, yeah. Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I love how gravity is affected by if you're breathing air right or not. Now. Yeah, the oh, yeah. pyramid. It should, you should bob around in Z, zero G like you do in a well balanced um, scuba outfit. So I can serve you better next time. Okay, where are you? No hiding. Running, they're running from me now. They can kill you as well, even a, you know, little basic mob. It can get to you without you knowing it's coming, it will have you. But they, they find it difficult to do that. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you breathing in and out can affect how you move in zero G or microgravity. And there's plenty of microgravity in the game. I've already installed the Neuromod to be able to sort of like tall buildings in a single bound kind of deal. As you can probably tell. Okay, shot down there. Okay, let's get to that middle bit. would not be able to do that without those neuromods in you'd have to find a different way or fight everything in here to get here something 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 satellite okay we let's go do some recycling right we've already got one pistol so you can go we've got one wrench you can go we've got a glue gun you can go another wrench Food's coming in as well. Okay, that looks neater. That was quite a lot of stuff. Right, okay. So we want to make Artax propulsion system, which is incredibly easy to make for the convenience of the game. You only need, like, two tiny amounts of uh, material. Okay. 
There we go, we got our uh, jet propulsion something something system. Gravity ceased to exist when... Oh no, it doesn't work like that. Gravity ceased to exist when you step out of the artificial gravity. And you always go through something to do that. Rather than... I know what you mean, the trope. <laughs> Okay, we've got one of them down there. And we've got to go spacewalking, which is through this here. But I can do this. And not take fall damage. He's corrupted. Do with a turret or something to shoot at the other one rather than use up a ton of ammo. use the slide mechanic there. <laughs> I didn't want to, I just did. Why should I fight them? I'll just make you guys do it. Moving cargo with dead person above. What's the worst thing that could happen? Have the bits, thank you very big. The Huntress is ready, missing operator parts, fabrication mold, okay. Killed a mimic or two in here as well. the ridiculously high jump it does even say in the, the description ludic ludicrously high uh, jumping every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk well they never While get right with um, measure, it's using guns in spaces is that nobody goes station. flying backwards if you do go out there <laughs> I wouldn't stray far the typhon may have spread to the exterior and remember, other airlocks you find will have to be open from the inside first. Whereas the reality is, you know. Oh, you off to bed, Sav? Okay. Good night, my dear. He's off for a buble bath. Microgravity detected. Where's this hole in the ship? Guitars sound really good on these headphones now. It's like being in the room with a real amp. Ah, here we go. Hole breach. Thermodynamics don't exist in games and movies, pretty much. <clears throat> There's like one or two that, that do that. Science operator. Okay, the guy we want that we saw floating past the window before is just here.
Can we pick up a thing from it? Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security is running all over the place. So, oh God, everyone's still working there? With I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day. Hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... Yeah, 2001, except that... If you create gravity oh, with oh my God. Uh, rotation, it doesn't work. What? I, I mean, go. yes, you pin to the side, but trying to do anything else, like they showed a Russian doing it in a test chamber, um, and he's he's thro trying to throw a ball at a target, and in the end, because of the transversal force or whatever it's called, he has to throw it that way to make it go that way. Which is kind of what would happen. Hey, this is Dr. Carlino. That's what did happen. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I'm not myself today. This is not my I kid. Oh, let's have a look. Quick pause for funny picture. <laughs> not my kid. It probably was, you know. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. That Do was you probably... still want me to finish this array? No, we want the I other one. I fabricated a glass. <laughs> array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Uh, are you... <laughs> Honestly, I, can get this I prefer door to if you left my here. experiments alone in my absence. Uh, then I can get well, to that door look, there. I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. There you go. It's sealed, so in there now has the artificial gravity, whatever it is. Get all the loot that's floating around our heads. You do have to concentrate to fly with this, but it is fairly close to scuba diving. Except you've got brakes. There's no brakes when you scuba. <laughs> Not really. Packing in space. Yeah, on, on the harder modes, you've got like um, limited air supply, uh, weapons breakdown, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to play that kind of thing, you can, or you can just disable it. You know, you can customise it quite a bit. Make it so you have to eat, things like that, you know. Like survival mode. Oh, no, fluff. Right, do that again with a bit more vim. Trust me, until you try doing this with my, with keyboard, it's not easy. Oh, yes. mm. it's like, what's the most difficult thing we can make the ball do? <laughs> make it do that. Like, adjusting the inertia of it, just so it's bloody awkward to control. Okay, I think we've got everything. Yeah, in hardcore mode, you're constantly outside hoping you don't run out of air and looking for O2 bottles. They still exist in the game. Oh, is it corpse nearby? Let's go and see who that is. Yeah, they still exist in the game even if you're not in survival mode, but... Um, You don't need them. Where the hell's the... Oh, there, 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 there he is. Generally, they just, they've got some loot on them and it's usually better than normal loot. Psytronics Morgue. Where's our hardware labs? Drag her up by the feet. 
toss it back. Well, not like they, they got hurt, was it? This gets very weird out here later on in the game as well. I don't want to spoil it too much, but my god. It gets very, very hard. There's different tunnels, there's sections where the cargo tunnel obviously has no gravity in it, but only atmosphere, so you float up and down that, and then when you exit into various areas, like some magical door that, as you go through, gravity kicks in, sort of thing. Babylon 5 respecting it as well, yeah. Yeah, some shows treat physics with a bit more respect than others. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what the code was for earlier on. 9464. Four. Seems to remember there was a mimic that ran in here. And we left. Clive, we need to reload. The reload speed on the glue can and the actuators are slow on this thing. And yes, you do need to loot tons of stuff to, to progress in the game. I suppose you could do like a, I'm not looting anything playthrough, but you, God, you'd struggle. See, someone there has built a little wall to climb up, but we came through a different way entirely. Come here, you little git. Big shark now. <laughs> I can't unblock to carry it. Something big and scary this way comes. through ammo on this pistol. It's not a very good pistol though. Throwing things at them, etc., is pretty good as well. When you can do it. Just double checking I'm not leaving anything cool behind. Don't think I am. We've got to get to his lab anyway, so. Yay, fixed the f thing. Da -da -da, claw space. That's where we just came out again. So we could have avoided it, but... Now we need to get to his lab, which is... This way. Where we came in, actually. And now we have his key. I don't think there's anything down here, actually. He said. Hopefully. Okay, need to restore power from somewhere.
interesting. Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so when it reads 170 grams, it sends an on-off signal. Please let me know when it's ready. Interesting request. Also a clue, so you could discover that. You could think, oh, well, you'd only ever discover that if you read um, all the emails. Well, no, because... Watch. Uh, let's try and play this back. Could not connect to host. Could not there. Diagnostics. Diagnostic. The network connection. 715 is disconnected. And it's different every time I've done this. Check server. Restoring connection to the mainframe, I guess. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet You're you there. Uh, I thought we were done. No, I just... Just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh, I suppose it's, it's late after all. Uh, go, go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. Get on, Piscatole. Right, now let's watch what he does. Because the video carries on. Grumpy old man, yeah. Well, he keeps getting his memories um, pulled out of his head. He's been, he's been cheating at his job, you see. As he's getting older and not as... You know, his thoughts don't come as quickly as he used to. He's been using Neuromods on the quiet and then taking them out before he has his medical. And of course, when he does that, he loses his memory. A secret panel over there. And all we need is his little flask. Will it still work? We wonder. Yay. And we can get into his little cabin as well. Outside the ship, there are lots of nasties waiting for us. Don't worry. All to come. <laughs> Ooh, that's a... Um Can I get that? Yay! <laughs> now, because we did... Demonstration stage. I think I went through a different door on a previous playthrough and it looked quite different. Oh! Someone's built a handy dandy little ladder up there. Apparently, that's Clive Lawrence. He's not looking at himself today. Bless him.
trying to find its way to where I am. Things are stupid hard to kill with just a pistol. Don't need to deal with him just yet, though. Let's go back down here. His thing we want to go to that's where this thing was crawling around before or stomping his big size tens all over the place listen to his uh, voice uh, this recorder is, um, this is dr calvino well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is its garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. The Vault Caster. A toy gun for annoying people with. Ooh. Eliminates the drunken effects of alcohol. We hope we take it. Okay. Aha! Do more recycling, clean out the inventory. Right. All the junk and then all our doubles, I think. Yeah, that should do. Recycle. Okay, we recycled. I think we've cleared this place out now, pretty much. For now. I think there's still a couple of areas maybe to get to, but... Yeah, this door is now open. See, before this was in vacuum, along with him in this room over here. So, now this one's sealed, this one's now open again. Looks like an interesting room, but we can't get in that way. I think you can get in though. There's a sneaky Hello. way. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Zio go for my, my playthrough of this game, I fully upgraded the wrench. And manically tatted everything with it. Yeah, that's okay. And that's that's as valid a play style as any other. The only problem we get is when you got the voltaic mobs and just standing next to them is killing you. Oh come on. Alright, 
this one then. Seriously, the leverage with big stuff, it, it's very, uh, the collision's not right. Like, suddenly I can do that. Hmm? Opinion. Hello all, welcome to the stream. How the devil are you? We're doing something a bit different tonight, as you do. Wednesday. I'm planning on doing a different game on Wednesdays to Good Old Anarchy, which will resume on the other days. Just to give myself a bit of a break from doing the same thing. <laughs> I want to get into that lab we couldn't get into because we didn't have a key card. I don't know how. He has repaired the thing. Moon door. Running in a satellite there. Can get some supplies. Ooh. Grounding resistor. We'll take electrical damage now. That'll be handy later, fighting voltaic phantoms and stuff. I think I'll put that in now before I forget. Bioshock, yeah, yeah, definitely of the similar ilk. Where would I get the key card for that other room, I wonder? You can probably Google that. Requesting new operator. Don't be a corrupted one, because you're brand new. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Like, if you played System Shock 2 first, then all of the games that use that kind of template, I suppose, remind you of it. If the first time you played a game like that it was Bioshock, then other games will remind you of Bioshock. You know, it, it's um, your, your experience dictates your future experiences. I don't know. Yeah, like it, it doesn't distort your perception, but it does colour it. Hello, nice to see you. I thought we picked up all the cards we needed. So here, I want to get into ballistics because there's another room above. Who are you? Are you important? Do you have a key card? Yes, you do. Sorry for your death. Yay! They've got a bunch of these trapped in there and they've got the recycler grenades, which I love. They're really funny. <laughs> There's magic involved. Not, well, yeah, kind of. In the same way, you know, nano formulas in um, AO are magic, but they're not. They're science. So in a similar way, these are as well. In fact, they remind me, like, when you're using the sort of Typhon abilities, it reminds me of Anarchy. Right, 7760, let me in! Yay, yeah, got it. Recycler grenades. How do they work? There's a bunch of crap in here and a couple of mimics. Organic material. Note. Date of incident, October 21st, 2034. Employee, Lily Norris. Recycler charge went off with my foot in range the organic material that was once part of me is now neatly compacted into this sphere you see before you take heed Ooh, we just picked it up was that the lady outside i wonder uh release recycler charge go
Yay! <laughs> yep, turned them all into that. Open the door. I remember my first playthrough, I stuffed everything I could find in here and kept thinking, oh, I'm going to get a load of stuff, and I didn't. I put absolutely tons of stuff in here and got nearly nothing. I was gutted. Like all of these headphones, books, bins, all the rest of it. Technology, well, a sufficiently advanced technology would look like magic to a primitive enough people. Is what he said, I think, or something like it is that though, yeah. That's the gist of it, yeah. Okay, we've done all that, but I fell into this room trying to get into the room above it once before. So now I've got big jump. Uh, I can get up on here. has done this. Yeah! <laughs> hey, we can get a beam weapon. Right. It's legit. Black box ship shipment. Thief. Someone's been nicking the stuff for it. Okay. But we need to get in there first. Fire the Q-beam! Turns them part green, and then fire again! Unlock the firing range, because we want the big gun. BFG. <laughs> it kind of is, though. Nice plan. Lane Carpenter is not having a good day today. Doesn't look too pleased to see us either. I don't think she can get out of there either. <laughs> we got in. Despite taking a sneaky way around. I don't want to get a key card get in there and shooty muck shoot face on her, but we don't have it. Yeah, when I first saw that I thought, oh you must be able to get in there through here. So I went in there, fell down into the room below on my first playthrough, so and you can't zap her through the door with this, I don't think. Load of bits and pieces in there, but I'm not sure how you get in this room. To be honest. Really unhappy to see us. But there wasn't any key card in the safe, so... They do not know. Oh, you can do that, can you? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, she can shoot through the door, but we can't. That's fair. Don't break through the door so I can shoot you. <laughs> Don't think it's going to work. You do some rig upgrades. Remember, you tried streaming Cyberpunk and it had some issues, or is this game? Um, it's easier to run. I can run Cyberpunk as well. I figured out how to do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I am pushing it. I'm running this on high, so. Right. Back to Little Pistol for now. Oh no, let's let's try out the new weapon. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. 
BFG, am I right? Diagnosing bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Now you don't need as much hardware to run it. All done. Please fill out a patient experience question. Tweaking the numbers to make it work a little bit. I just set it to high. Um, should send you a 3090. Yes, please. Bloody find one. <laughs> like rocking horse droppings at the moment, aren't they? Were you were you here for gluey McGlue face? <laughs> and they've got him hidden behind a panel so people can't find him. Welcome. Maybe I, I just love you. it. Gluey McGlue face. That's what he's called. See? And on the email, uh, you win. Whoever gave uh, Mr. Gluey Muck Glue Face arms, aka first shift, I bow to thee. At first, I thought the Jelly Deal hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. Sincerely, the unworthy second shift. And then there was a little note next to him. Um, Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. <laughs> yeah, this game's full of little, you know, nuggets and gems and, you know, just cool little bits and pieces you could easily miss, you know, because you're walking around trying not to be killed by everything. like more than one playthrough or, or do a new game plus because you're at a big advantage with um new game plus straight away because you're way more powerful because you're starting off with a bunch of mods already installed on your character. so you're tougher you've got more hp you've got the the jump you know whatever it was you did okay you don't have all the suit mods but you're still pretty strong in comparison to you would be starting off green, you know? Yeah, Dev's having fun, why not? Sounds good to me. I've already been in there. And in there, we have grabbed all the plants. Uh, it's up to you how you play it. That's what, that, this is what makes it a good game, is that you can choose... Oh, I'm going to go really stealthy, or I'm going to go gung-ho. I'm going to sneak down every little, you know, uh, heating duct everywhere to find a way into a room. Um, I, I do sort of mixed. I always like hacking uh, and, or lockpicking or whatever the equivalent is. I always like to do that. Uh, but sometimes I just want to go, you know, oh, I'm going to blah, blah, you know. Like, we've got that weapon there, which... Uh, what? Oh, no. Also, that, we've got that ability from straight away as well, which helped me get straight to certain areas right from the get-go that you wouldn't normally have an option to get to. You know. This might have the next pickup and finish Mass Effect 1 and halfway through Gears of War. Yeah, it's less on rails than Mass Effect, I would say. You've got more leeway to... Ooh, okay. You've got more leeway for a bit of fun, you know? It's more replayable, I mean... Oh my god, this guy! I want to get that golden gun as soon as... Yeah, you could you could do a melee playthrough, more or less. Alien threat ah, my lovely turret! Ah. Oh, you missed that one, though, didn't you? Ah. You missed the bigger version. Just about to sing the praises of my turret of doom here, and he missed one. 
Yeah, it's well worth playing the game. No two ways about it. Right. Um. Oh, do, oh, have I got any doubles? Nope. Only one of each weapon. Yeah, it's an arcane name, so Dishonored. It will feel like that. Same studio. Same creators, so it will have that kind of flow. Uh, do I need more? Pistol ammo. Oh, yeah. E bullets. I mean, Mass Effect 1 is a great game. No two ways about it. But mostly you just like... Um, being utterly infuriated by <laughs> the powers that be in the game. Uh, LG repair. Let's repair the screen. Right. Let's resume playback. You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Like, when you watch Including this, you. it's one of the rooms you see at the beginning of the game. But you've seen what those creatures can do. And that code do. on the board has They're been rubbed part of off. You now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another As way. As for a safe, you can't see in January this can walk screen, you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. It's in Alex here. will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So, it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. No, I don't. Blow up the station? Are you mad? It's one of the many options you can finish the game with. There's a few. Here comes January. Speak. Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Telos 1, but none of them are like me. Over here. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. Yay, the self-destruct protocol for Talos 1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key, but you hid a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you'll need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And okay. your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Look, put a sticker on the side saying January. General access. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods. Yay, neuromods. Good luck, Morgan. That's not a neuromod. That's the security the station in the lobby might have weapons. Warped opinion. I've got to shoot Carl, but good to see you again. Have a good day. Have fun. Thank you. I shall. Right, neuromods. We've got loads of them now, haven't we? We've got 20. We've got 20 neuromods. Um. Oh, let's get the... We'll get that so we can smack things harder and then use that so we can upgrade all weapons. That'll do. Uh, don't really need those. I've got max health already. See, because it's a, a new game plus, I might do some of these stealth ones as well, or combat focus maybe. I don't think I'm going to do um, zappy zappy stuff. I don't know. But yeah. So can I now upgrade that? No, it's still greyed out. How'd you upgrade the wrench then? Hephaestus Hefi Twist and Loop Handle Industrial Wrench, a flexible and indispensable tool for various engineering jobs, also an effective improvised bludgeon. Um, damage 19 to 37, unmodified. Oh, it's already modified then. 
So if I click on that, right, so I can modify glue gun, that pistol, or that. All right, okay. I don't want to modify this pistol because I'm going to go and get the golden gun later, which is definitely better. But now I've got the arcs thing, I can do stuff like this, you see. <laughs> away from that dude. I need the shotgun. Oh, two of them. Gotcha. Is that both of them? Where did the other one drop then? Not sure, but let's crack on. Oh, that was. Is that supposed that can't be sealed still, can it? Oh, there you go. Uh, did we? Oh, have we got a key? Can we get in here now? No card, you cannot enter. Yeah, it's an alternate history line if you've not seen it. Have you all seen it? Here's the uh, alternate 1963, history. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. Yeah, someone put a lot of compression on that actor's voice. 1980 to 1994. <laughs> Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. She does 2025. It again. The Transtar Board of Directors yeah. is established. Normally, Transtar purchases um, and privatizes the Kletka the producer facility would mute that with a part focus on safety the and state-of-the-art upgrades. But you only get that if you put a ton of compression on it, because... A breath isn't that loud, <laughs> but it is with compression. Talos One becomes fully All the quiet becomes louder. Representing a monument of private space industry, the first neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. In memory of JFK, nineteen seventeen to twenty thirty one. That was a long life. A hundred and what? Ah. See, I know that that will open up. There's prior knowledge, but this is this is um, new game plus. So you do have prior knowledge when you're playing. Right, we try and call the lift, and oh no, the lift is broken. Wait, something's wrong. I'm talking to the lift control system. Hmm, the system is telling me it's fine. It's just, the diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request, and something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. Got it. There's a route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan. That lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. This is Security Chief Elazar. Who the hell shut down the elevators and airlocks? Answer me. Not what I I to do. down tight here. We need those lifts working. Sam, it can't be a power Please. loss, can it? I don't think so, Chief. The main lift and all <laughs> the airlocks shut down. That's what this is for, essentially. It had to be Doing things like that. 
First they give us pop guns, put us on babysitting duty, then open the gates of hell and lock us in. Transtar's going to need an army of lawyers when I get Earthside. Anyone else on the station, get to a safe e Hello, as you left your character sheet in the printer. Don't forget, we've moved the game to the rec centre in the crew facilities and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favour, take your happy pill before showing you up. See you there. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling. Then seal yourself in. Turns We're working out, Yuri, on the problem. Yuri, Kim, like everyone else. As soon as I'll tell you over lunch. Okay. Lazar out. Okay, we're hacking in. I probably missed the very obvious post-it note with the code, but... Eh! Eh! <laughs> fail! Oh, God! Hard. Trying to be accurate with this thing is... More neuro mods. Uh, I need to change that. Um, pistol, you're now five. Because I say so. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose is to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory is shot full of holes, but you left instructions at the Typhon shipwreck containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with the supply cache. Could have got an ear through that door as well. Your map. I'll contact you again when you have the key. Who is December? There's something big stomping around downstairs. Eh? Oh, they burn even after they're dead. I hate those things. Unlock. Travel. Confirm. So, yeah, the game, they've written out like an entire history for the whole game and, you know, and the whole everything else. So it is. It's pretty well thought out and everything, you know. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Guts. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. <sighs> now we're hitting it a little harder. So yeah, on harder difficulties, you would almost certainly play this far more cautiously. Let's get in. junk <laughs> utilities lock unlocked security booth that's what we're on oh, there we go I was hoping for a shotgun in there but no area map download and can you On email, okay. Got this crew thing. If you click on it, you start getting side missions to look 
for all the missing crew members, most of whom are dead. Okay. Crispin Boyer, apparently. You're dead now. Yeah, sometimes if a mimic gets hold of you, it turns you into a phantom. Which is not funny. I think there's other stuff in here, like... If you haven't got this helmet, you've got to go down there and get it, which we can do. And then like, oh my god, it's these things all over the place. Which, if you're unprepared for, is terrifying. See, he's got the psychoscope. Normally in the game, that's the first time you get one. But this is New Game Plus, so we already has it. Which is kind of cool, isn't it? Cool music. Come on. Right, and then let's get out of here. Wait till I'm down the hole and then it attacks me. Nice. Did you just drop down? Or is that a mimic? That makes me laugh, but it somehow does. So never mind. Right, we were going Psychoscope this way. required beyond this point. And we already have one. Science operator. I don't need you right now. I see you've already figured out how to use your psychoscope. All right, Morgan, I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. I'm sending you the code to a safe in Director Kelstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. No matching key card. How how on earth will we get inside? Come on, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Just in the nick of time. Both your upgrades, uh, key passes. One, five, two, five. Let's see. More neuromods. Morgan, a warning. If you scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. <laughs> Nothing ever gets stuck in these, so for that to be up there... Yep. Um, no. No need to build anything just yet, but we could probably 
filter out some of the crap in the inventory. Like so. You know, a lot of building materials now. I think we'll probably need later. Well, oh, that's another option. You could have come in here, turned the power off before trying to fix it. You weren't quick enough on repair. And as a byproduct, we got two more dork. So, something in here with us. Hello. Hello. Worst consequences. The spike in the eyeball. Yeah, just a bit. So if you remember from Hello. the beginning, when we were looking in that room, here's the... Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. Oh, they're building. Just need a little more time. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the guts is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Oh, Back lovely. in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't even seem to I see I want to hit the no wave. Not Let me like hit the no wave. I mean. I'm generalizing nope. when I say us, of course. There you go, it's I'm turned into one of them. Not like you. Warning. No wave, please. Compromised. No! <laughs> We're gonna have to fight it. Warning. Examination field compromised. Ah. Ah. Warning. Examination field compromised. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The oh, I see. If I use that thing, hesitation. I don't get any loot from it. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Oh, dun dun dun. <clears throat> Morning. Got you. Come on. Well, that was a mistake. It turned into an explosive canister and exploded. Good job. I'll actually restore my armor. Your suit's leaking. Oh, man. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you very much, sir. Excuse me. <clears throat> right, let's see about getting in the morgue. I don't think we've got a key for it. Nope. Can we? Well, we could try the mimic thing, but I quite like <laughs> using this silly thing for jobs like that. Where did my little dart go? Not this isn't the thing. first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating, but Alex insisted he could control the situation. 
That's when you began implementing secret contingencies. Hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Worth going in there just to get the, um, <clears throat> the extra bits and pieces. Well, it seemed pretty, well, n not obvious, but obvious to someone as mischievous as I am. <laughs> well, that's it. Every time you play this, it's a little different. The codes are different, where you find them is different. Not every single one, but quite a lot of them at least. Okay, so it's now opened this door. Speed scan. Do I even need speed scan? Love that. We'll put that in, we've got nothing else to put in, why not? Like the old days of Anarchy Online. Oh, I found an implant in a chest. Do I need the stats? Not really. Mine's well, better than what I've got. Gotcha. You can get suit mods that give you better critical stuff like that. I don't have any yet, though. I did on the previous playthrough, I had them all. And later on, we go in here. Well, that's much later in the game. I think we've forgotten someone. It was the corridor that was full of fire, wasn't there? Science types going to that armory. Saw a punch in the code. Are you get me out of here. Volunteer record. It. Request record. Volunteer ID V9. Blah, 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 blah. Human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor, distribution of controlled substances, fraudulent impersonation. Oh, you're a, you're a lovely man. Well, what, what, what do you want me to do? Hey. Let you out? What are you reading? Your rap, rap sheet, huh? Yeah. Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine. Listen, I want to be honest. Some of it probably is true. I've done some wrong in my days. I'm not going to kill you like that. I might shoot you in the head, but... Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. <laughs> Extract a I mimic. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Mm -hmm. The real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws <sighs> sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. Gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? Go on, then. <sighs> I don't actually believe you, but I'm not going to kill you like that. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Oh, you're not my friend, but I wouldn't let you die like that. Right, what's the code? You're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. But if you still want that code, it's 8714. I didn't need it. I could have hacked that. You just didn't deserve to die like that. I don't think anyone does. hesitate at all i'm sure he wasn't a good man but could you have done otherwise given the opportunity the typhon can only kill and destroy but you're human you he have a choice a bloody... <laughs> getting told off what time is that one at go on then give him another chance you don't know it could be true what he's saying it could be that that rap sheet is rubbish and then you've just murdered someone, and even if it's true, you know. 
Mm. Oh, it's only two minutes earlier. Okay. I wouldn't have um, released the thing onto him, though. That would have just been horrible. See, if we'd have followed the main marker, we'd never have come across him. Okay, what, what do we you do? Need guns? Request. I saw one of them science types going to that armory. Saw him punching the code. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. <laughs> Shotgun! Two shotguns. I've got the shotgun. I go to one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Yeah, just forget you know me. <laughs> How about that? Now shotgun to the head instead. Turn him into Muck Glueface Mark II. Yeah, that would be quite funny. Thing was, that's no way to kill anyone, is it? You know? They have to release the mimic in there. The mimic then combines with a human being. The human being dies, and you, you loot the results. Oh, we can't get in here till we seal a hole breach, I think. Which we'll get to. Listen, you running any other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. Go on, any other gems of wisdom? I seen one of the other volunteers come through here. A big guy. Bastard wouldn't let me out. Now I'm glad he didn't. Watched him bash some poor sucker's head in with a wrench. Kept going on and on about black eggs and whatnot. Real disturbed. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rules. Yeah, they've all got a bloody got story, don't you? No, I don't trust you or believe you, but hey. Done is done. Oh, the Ring of Fire version. Don't need to go through there either. Did you beat him to death with the uh, with the big spanner? <laughs> oh, turrets have been busy. Turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy, but they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built-in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. So you say. I could be, though. Trollhammer 4 shadowing, dun dun dun. Yeah, we are on New Game Plus. I did put that in the title, didn't I? In case people are like, why are you giving loads of spoilers? Because it's New Game Plus. Let me just check. Did I do that? I think I did. Yeah, New Game Plus is in the title, so yeah. All right, let, this is how they do the um, the gravity Sorry, thing. Where are you going? You won't be able to use Alex's escape pod without... Wait, who are you? Please identify <laughs> Uh, oh, look. Laurel, there comes a time in every man's life when he looks for, toward the future. Our future raise marks. Would you do me the honour of. Ju -ju Laurel, array. <laughs> Just talk to her. Doofus. Morgan, 
This is January. That operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. A stream in a stream, that's meta. Oh yeah, it, it, it'll do the full on um, streamception. Okay, there's a little side thing to do on the way through here. Which can be quite good. These tunnels run the entire length of the station. Right, shotgun. Where are you? There we go. You're on four. And where's my weapon upgrades? I have nine of them. And I'm not upgrading the standard thing. Power! <laughs> Max firepower. Uh, reload. Ammo capacity. Okay, I think that's all my... Oh, I've got one more. We've got an eight shot one now. And then when I get some more of those, I'll do that. The reason I'm not upgrading the regular pistol Conduit, the is there's a better pistol to be power, had. Water, air. But Which I found later on in my first playthrough, and I was gutted. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. Very bad assumption. There's not as much as there should be down this corridor, I always think. There should be loads more little, you know side bits and that but maybe they just didn't want to do that why you need a shotgun multiple target fights that's why <laughs> right where we need to go these things way to deal with them is shoot them and then if you get the timing right just as they turn into many but they're all stuck together shoot them again with the shotty you destroy them all but it's pretty hard to get the timing dead on half the time you end up with like one and then you've got ten more to bloody well deal with which is always lots and lots of fun and I wish I had more shotgun ammo yes I do wimpy shotgun yeah there was a pre-order one wasn't there I'm sure I had that but I don't seem to have it anymore and ah, screwed it up gotta be closer let's get out of it Ooh. <laughs> Speedy Gonzales. Through the pipe, through the pipe, through the pipe. Ah! It's locked. Doom did it right. The shotty in it is so damn meaty, it's not even funny. Yeah. The shotguns in uh, Tomb Raider were good. I was quite surprised. Hack, muck, hack face. You can make that hacking so much easier if the uh, little ball thing didn't bounce and whatever the way it does. God, that whistling's loud. So you get it right and they all blow up. There we go.
Not easy to aim when you're drifting around. Bunch more of the buggers down there. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Floaty muck float. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Don't oh, stay there. Oh, my God. Repair, repair before it blows up and shoots me again. God for me. Okay, I've got the radiation now. Wait, 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 wait. I've got somewhere around here. Yeah, only two of them though. Use, I will. Something went bang. Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit system's pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake, I'll be fine. And... Let's go and have a look at the generator. Semi-realistic. Yeah, most shotguns in games are like, um, for whatever reason, melee weapons. Like, two meters away? Oh, well, I'm afraid that no damage. Operator will be stuck in here. Transfer pyramid for diagnosing. Heal me, baby. Still, this will only take a moment. There, all better. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. I am a little tin. I was kind of hoping for another muck glue face, but no. You know, behind the thing. <laughs> Transcribe. Langley! Hey, what's the matter? He's... He's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call security, I tried... Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laurel? Take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flanking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm going to find Chief Alzheimer. That was rude. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. Note. Magne <laughs> Magnetosphere safe key. 0393. There we go. We want to get into the Arboretum, which we do. Then... We're going to have to go in there with the pulse. Thank you. Of course, there's a nest in here. I think that got him. Oh, 
Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Okay, let's wait till it's not as imminent. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave like in five, four. I think there's Three, a thing in there as well. Two, one. Yeah, the supplies cabinet up there. Gonna hack this. Open that and then try and do the whole thing in one go. If we're that nuts. I think it is even on an easy setting. I think it's instant death if you're caught in there while... It pulses. Oh, power control. Power it off. Warning. Magnetosphere deactivated. That's the sensible Solar way to do it. Exposure at maximum. There's our guy bobbing around. Those through his suit thrusters are still running. Oh yeah, it'd be a mess in there. Please wait, it says. I wanted to open the little supplies door in there. I should have done that before I did anything else, really. I am going very quick bio. I never actually played Left 4 Dead. I've seen it played. I've just never played it myself. But I had the perfect shotgun. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Magnetosphere activated. So that gives you loads of time. That was enough time for me to go and have a quick pee, rinse my hands, come back, sit down. You know. And then it comes back on. Okay. So, Warning. emergency Plasma supplies, run access. So there's the door. Does it stay open? Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five. Four. It'd be burned three, to a crisp by now two, if that's been going on for one. hours. Door stays open. Power control. Power off. Warning. Magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Yeah, screw everyone else getting solar radiation. <laughs> we want to go in there. Micro gravity detected. I didn't know you could do that on my first playthrough and I tried to do the whole thing in one go. Okay, we've got the key card. Supplies, we should have time. So I was waiting on the countdown each time. Yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, and it was like five, four, three, two. Just getting to here on one, and then like, zoom and dying. <laughs> I didn't know you could power it down. It will power itself back on, so. Oh, you guys. Okay. Yeah, different now, isn't it? Now you're on fire as well. Oh, brilliant.
Whatever's on the floor would have burned out by now. Come on. Does not have it on her head, eh? Poor woman. Feel like she'd go back in there, pull him out, but you know. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to be the horrible uh, Morgan for this one. Okay, we've done that, done that. Okay. Even when. <clears throat> we definitely need more shotgun ammo. God, take the path. Oh, it's outside, I think. It is. I mean, stopping something from working. I think there's a rather sad note somewhere around here as well, why all that food's in there. Some people came for a romantic dinner or something. I don't know if it was this guy. Raymond Riley, no. It wasn't him. Uh, maybe you don't find it every time. Maybe I did. Data notes. We saw that one. Game night we know about, but we can't get in there yet. Don't know. Yeah, I'm sure I found like a note or something floating around in here. Near here, and then inside that bay is where they were going to have like a romantic meeting with a bottle of vino and stuff but all this happened instead uh oh yellow stuff you're not what they say foreshadowing rejecting the new cell spiking them up like an antivirus Right, we want to go and get the golden gun as soon as, and then we can start upgrading that. The entire Typhon ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. <laughs> Did no Until damage now. to that at all. This is Run away! The power plant has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam? He's right. These things... Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. All right? Understood. <laughs> yeah. He's right, though. Check the wrench first. Yeah, even the fully upgraded shotgun in this isn't that. The golden pistol's good though. And he's got a lot of poke. It's more like a bloody magnum. You made it. Even though nice it's... work. The entrance to deep storage is off the arboretum. Your brother's office is up here as well. Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. You used to say that behind his back. But that would make you what? Do you know? Hmm. No. Venus. That's an unpleasant thought. Right. All the stuff that we don't need.
Right, I don't need that many of those, so split those. Because they, if you look, have got quite a bit of um, organic in it, which you need for the... Um, making shotgun or pistol shells, because obviously they you use the organic to make gunpowder. I guess. Okay, is that about right? That looks about right to me. Recycle everything. And shotgun shells for the win. There we go. Thank you. And again. There's probably mods where you've got infinite ammo or got any, but come on. <laughs> The ancient Greek gods were, gods were all incestuous, so some of the right team were a bit naughty. Yeah. Right, so shotgun, we now have 61. I want more. 53, I can afford more. Oh, go on. Come on, mate. Okay, and I've got two of these left. Which, like I said, I'm not going to use... Uh, capacity, we'll go up one more on that. Uh, recoil... I don't really feel any recoil... with this, to be honest. It seems okay. Reload speed, though, you definitely feel that. So. I mean, I'll do all of these until it's completely upgraded. And then do the same with the golden pistol. I'm not doing it on a regular pistol. Not worth it. Hello, Nightmare. Come back. Morgan, are you all right? That Typhon, there's nothing in the research. Stay away from it. Too big to fight me. While you're up there, He's you can look a into why the space than it can, and it can't It'd do much. It'd be a much. lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Okay. More shot. He suddenly there's like dozens of shotguns everywhere. We couldn't have them near the beginning. Right, we can't get to the lobby yet. We've got to get to... Elsewhere. They're shooting at me! How very dare you! If I remember this correctly, we want to go to crew quarters, but we can't go there yet until we've got a crew pass. But to get it, we need to get up here. The agility jump, kind of a winner. I was just... I, I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromods. Exotic material. Just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. Okay, next one. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. 
Ja here, Chief. How can I help you? I need you to report to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. Captain? Did I... I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. <laughs> Shotgun to the face, mate. That's a little more like it. Yep. Now we're cooking. Now, now we've got a bit of uh, damage. Right, we've got to go down to the start of deep storage to get a crew key to get in the crew quarters. Which I think he's down here. Yeah, this dude. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Yep, throwing things at them. I don't think I've ever gotten in here. I never found the right key card for that room. And you can't actually hack it, so... I've got leverage three, so... Damn it. Which would work great if I aimed a bit better. <laughs> God, more shotguns. And I don't want to kill all the mind-controlled people in here. I want to try and save them, but I want to get the uh, golden gun first. So not an easy task, I grant you, but... You! I see you! Another puppet! Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Cut. Being sneaky muck sneak face here. Stupid beast. You think you can kill me with them? Yeah, the problem is they're innocent people wandering around in mind control state, and as soon as they see somebody, they explode. Or the head does. Oh, 
Let's report. Quentin. Hey, you can't fight the beast voice. So they're all alive, but oh, lots of shotgun. Avoid the red crap. Yay! Straight in. Can't get me, can you? I think that's it for this room, maybe. Plenty in here, though. Stay with the silenced weapon. Golden gun! Artemis Golden Pistol. Oh yeah. So it's already better than an upgraded regular pistol, apparently. I don't know, what do you got? There's 19 firepower versus 15 straight away. It's not bad. Yeah. Upgrade. This pistol only. Uh, firepower, yes. Maximum firepower. And then range. You can basically turn it into a bloody sniper rifle. <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous, but yeah. We don't care. And then all the other pistols I can just scrap that, which is why I didn't upgrade one in the first place. No key card for there. Well we can get in anyway, can't we? Hi there. <laughs> I'm a burglar. A burglar? If I say he's a burglar, then a burglar he is. <laughs> okay, more hacking. I don't mind the hacking game. It is kind of... It can get... Annoying, but at least you don't get locked out. Which would, if you got locked out from whatever, then yeah, I would get annoyed. Weapon fabrication plan. <laughs> and your emails, I just check all your emails. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. Okay. Missing key card, Sarah. Need help tracking. It should be one. It's labelled EP101. I think that's like a master key card or something, isn't it? Like, you can go anywhere with it. Opens all the... Okay. Opens all the doors. Okay, no, not going to be sneaky now. But maybe we can. Yeah, I didn't want to go out there on the wet floor against the voltaic enemy who is just going to kick off them. All the key cards coming into play now. What a delightful display you have in your room. Whoever's room this is. And what's on your bed? Oh, petri dishes, yes. <laughs> sort of thing you should always keep on your bed where you sleep. Uh, compares until blah, blah, blah. Air ends. Okay. 
It's quite... I quite like that you can look at the computers without being taken out of the game, if you know what I mean. So you're still in the game rather than, you know, transported to uh, some kind of different screen or what have you. He hasn't got his... The amount of times I have found passwords under there, it's silly. Right. We'll do it this way. Dr. Igwe! He's the guy, I think he's stuck in a container. So you have to decide whether or not you're going to save him. No, oh, go through. Okay, go around. Go around. Success. File. Hypo. I've already got that, but okay. Email. Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous requests and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is very tight and we may not allow face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know if we have more details. Oh yeah, he wants to meet the pianist. Big fan. Moon rock statue. Do you think how expensive these things would be? Uh, golden gun. Number four. No. Five. Upgraded shotgun is four. That's it. That's how I want it. And one of them on three. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff to scrap now as well. Zigolden gun. Okay, we've got one we can um, giggle into. I am. What a mug. Someone is not happy out there. We should meet. Chill, Lindsay. Come back and say. Okay. Uh, security clearance. Okay. Nothing that use. Fall in here, unfortunately. Okay. And then the final one, I think this is uh, W. Mitchell's. Who is the chef, I think. Don't want to surprise the possessed people or mind control people. It does not end well for them. So this is Thorsden. Okay. Pizza. Good man. Weapon upgrade. Nice. I've already done firepower. Yeah, range. Make it 30 meters effective. I think there's not much else in there. This is Bellamy. Oof, your own mods. We're not really using, but on the first time round, it's uh, really nice to have. Morgan New Typhoon Research Data Transfer. Email. Morgan Solutions. Over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem, even though we've been controlling every possible variable. Room A, for example, in test 9, she exercised precise control to move the boxes one at a time. Test 10, she simultaneously levitated them all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test, and then... 14, she incinerated them, if not for the safety glass. You'd. Uh, what is happening after this reset causing this variance? Yes. Personality changes.
There's Elizabeth Bay. Not looking good. Ooh, it was already open. He's been done. Not a lot in here. Hasn't even got a computer. How are you a scientist without a computer? Come on. Surely you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have one for there. But that's for you, and it's for you need to get into. Lost your transcribe again. You just misplaced your transcribe again. Just want you to know I still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back. Call me or something. Okay. okay. Ivy song. No, Ivy, I'm sorry. You were too far gone. Note. Danielle missed you leaving your character sheet here. Have a spare in case you don't make it back before the game and don't worry. Yeah, it sounds like they're having a lot of fun with this game. You're a mod. Note. Found missing transcribe track theatre. Get my stuff from Abby's cabin. Finished draft apology letter. Pull head out of arse, prioritise relationships over work. Okay. Conversation archive, it's a date. Okay. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have I dinner need to with eat me. some what? stuff to make you space. Say what a lot when you should <laughs> say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? Want to play the guitar, not pick it up. Let me, let me play it. Damn you. All right, there's another one here. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcripts are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. 20%, okay. Need to find more of her recordings somewhere. She thinks her key card. Well, we literally have no space left. <laughs> Could be in the theatre. I mean, a cinema. But they're calling it a theatre. Oh, this is the looking glass professor guy, isn't it? Never. I have never removed a neuromod. And yet. Today, I could not find my way to the hardware labs. I wandered the arboretum for an, an hour. I made some excuse, but I know me you suspect. I cannot keep making toys for Transtar when uh, I told Alex what I want to try. He gave me a device to help. Parapsychological contraption. Yep. Morgan made it. Some of the components are beyond me sorry about the glass it was very cool but we wanted the safe behind it I'm afraid well, we'll listen to the others this dream again there is something wrong with this station something here with us but I am hallucinating now there uh, there, there is no question I don't think you are. I, Monsters I tried are real. To open the locker, but I, I could not remember our anniversary. And for a moment, even her name escaped me. Why are you her just forgetting things, dude? If one day I wake up <laughs> and cannot even remember the work I am doing, I must give it all to Morgan. She will know what to do with it. First test, 
anterior electrodes overheated uh, after six seconds. But I swear, there was a moment I saw her again. The day we met on the coast of Malfi, her lemon sundress, my Clorinda. And where are you, sod? The poltergeist ones are annoying. This is like not really a straight this fight. Is Officer Falls. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. <laughs> Galactic. Uh, yes, of course, sir. Conquistadors. I can't nine. do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me. Yes, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes, now she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. No more poltergeist. One of the tech. The yellow tulip. Join us for a private celebration of Transstar success. On you, Sky. Just a Noromod hangover. I feel. Weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's... Oh, it's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? <laughs> Only to catch you if you suddenly... Carry the sheet. <laughs> They're Collapse. playing like a Dungeons and, and Dragons. Only keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. Uh, Londis, ooh, ahoy! Hello, Londis. Welcome to the stream. I'm in a not AO night tonight. <laughs> Just because, why not? And we can't go any further because sadly, they're all dead beyond there because it's broken. Have a banana. <laughs> be another one of these suckers in here, isn't there? If you're sick, if I'm an exercise minimum, gym code is 0085. Okay. Andy dandy. But we haven't got enough of her voice recordings yet so we need to find some more without killing all the mind control people but also could definitely do with unloading a recycler right we want a recycler and the nearest is where Level two, there's one over there, I think. Oh, we got a pelt guy somewhere. Global Unity Games, something, something. in here somewhere. Where are you, little git? Oh, you didn't. Come on, where are you? It is, it's in here somewhere. It is the hiding. I 
Don't want to make her head explode. And that will until I take out the... Uh, there you are, there you are, there you are. Invisible all you want, you're dead now. Or is it? Did I only wing it? I think I injured it. You run out of puppets, huh? Or maybe you starve. in some way. Hate these things. to take out the Ooh. mind control how many bodies do we have huh? thing I think there's one in the cafeteria and then another one in the uh, gymnasium so plan is hit it hard not having a good day yeah, there we go whoever you are run there is no more fool here except you. No, no, no. If you are Keep away still from the hold of your brain, mind good. controlled guys, otherwise they just here? get killed. Or not. I want to kill it and not the, the master is close. people it's got under its kill spell, which ain't puppets, that easy. Both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, <laughs> maybe we talk. And as soon as they see me, they come running towards you and their head explodes. It's like, really? I can't stop myself. You understand? Go! Go in. I don't want you to die either. What I really need to do is recycle. Shotgun to the head. <laughs> no. Supplies from Morgan. Mike, you're heading up to the exact suite. Da, 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 da. The grab code is 9967. Cool. Oh, finally. Can unload some stuff. Right, store all junk. And then... Right, let's get all the duplicates gone. Uh, no, that's about it. Yep, looks good. Okay. We need to take out that bloody telepath cafeteria otherwise we're gonna have loads of them after us oh he's got them right there now Theater. two three got most of them in there.
said you might have dropped it in the theatre. Didn't say which theatre, there's two of them. I do them all now, won't I? to do that keep clicking right clicking to zoom and that is how it works in this game My God. Yeah, a bit quicker works better. Not in the Aha. Uh -huh. Your sticky note, the one under the desk with your password. Wait, you were under my desk. Look, you need to keep your password safe, all right? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Right, so we got enough data to copy enough of her voice. But we're not done yet. No, there is more. Playing Sota. Yeah, you got to have a bit of a break now and again, haven't you? I'm playing Sota in years. Is any rating be up here? Probably no. Oh, this is <laughs> this is like no. Hey, Hi, look. Daddy. Happy oh. birthday. I made you a present, what? but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Um, what else? Oh, Ren peed in one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you. <laughs> I think Dad's probably... Hovis by now. Don't know. I get over there. I've got to get no. I've got to go and do this thing first, or I can't get to that table. And I want to get to that table because there's a bunch of clues and stuff on it that we need. I don't want to kill all the mind control people by running in there. Which is exactly what happens. I was hoping to take it down in one fail swoop, but. Didn't know. What's that? It's right up there. Can I get to there some other way without triggering these guys? Come on. Come on. Oh, you did not blow up all the... Couldn't hide behind your puppets, huh? 
kill you. Oh, he Save killed them all. You. Come to kitchen window. Uh, Let me see. No. <laughs> what time is that? Twenty. Uh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Last time I did this, I did it and none of them died. They must has the same again. Well, do, have I done the unload yet? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll come back to the club in a minute. <laughs> Make a lot of mess, these things. Can we get a bit more kick out of this and take it all down in one go? Don't know. Stamina. Combat focus. Don't know about that. All my engineering is done. Got weapon upgrades I could maybe spare. I don't think I have. No. Unconscious, yes. Unconscious. All unconscious. You will live. I have saved you. Most of you. Can't save the ones who are already dead. I think he was already dead, though. Guy with no head. Probably already a bit dead. Just, you know, wild speculation being what it is. So that's most of the people without mind control. I've got to do the ones in the gym as well. Though. I'm going to go and get them done first. Freedom of the mind control age. It's not recreation, is it? Where the hell is the bloody gym? Oh, I'm lost. Now, recreation centre, cafeteria, where's... That's beyond the... Okay. Down here. spot you, they blow up and you've lost one. So annoying. Too big. What do you want from me? 
she's got so little health left. Just the slightest little thing and she'll be gone. He's been stood under the fire or something. Well, tonight I'm going to be the first thing I can walk into. That noise is horrible. I'm going to loot. Look her off that way. Don't make a walk back under the fire, you horrible bloody thing. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. No! No! Flip! <clears throat> What's that one? Oh, it was ten minutes ago. <laughs> oh, well, we lost one. I wanted to try and save all of them. I managed it last time, but they were obviously walking around in different places. <laughs> And there's our bad boy. What do you want from me? Ah! 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 Did he kill them all? No! Oh. <laughs> he didn't get a chance to blow him up. Somehow. Yeah, he must have been walking that one up and down this corridor. Through fire. He's going to be a right mess. If she lives at all. Got our smuggling ring. Hey! <laughs> See what we got? We got some scope chipsets. Yep. Uh, targeting increased weapon damage to marked enemies. Reactive. Decreases cooldown. That looks quite good. Let me go in. Uh, any? Oh yeah. Poly shield. Physical damage. Collect more ammunition from robotic carbon. Okay. No, same one again. Yeah. Oh no, can't stack them up, unfortunately. Right, that's the true the two um telepath ones done. So now we'll go back to the cafeteria. Find out what this guy wants. After I nipped upstairs for reasons. Do we miss any up here? I think these would they, these are dead before you get here, I think. Okay. suit what is in your name tab you um am you am you you killed this yourself well ah. yes i did will mitchell i don't if you think want so. to come in be safe you go get something of mine huh yeah Here, sure key it opens my room your room go there get my award it's important to me. Yeah, that's one of the convicts. Then, <laughs> maybe we talk. Yep. He's one of the, um... 
psychos from the wherever it is they do the um is it psychotronics Don't worry about power flickering station is just hurting keep going yeah you're definitely a cordon bleu chef of course you are yep totally totally sound like one what the hell did you do to that thing mitchell sounds like an anti-waffle commercial well I didn't see it oh, as we, an Will Mitchell looks a little different here. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana party. <clears throat> this is an A-B conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll he scratched off the face. Out. Of the chef. <laughs> Mark on Nobel Award, yeah. Hacks all the computer. Didn't quite come across as a chef somehow. Uh, sorry to come take you down time. Alex has been working throughout this fourth shift. Put a food request in. He says you know what he likes. Could you bring him his meal to the executive suite? Nine nine six seven. Yeah, we already got that uh, from elsewhere. But yeah. So, chef, not actually the chef. Looks slightly different in your profile picture. You still there, Mew? <laughs> you still alive? So who huh? the hell is he then? Huh. What if Mew comes back? Let Mew in? But you find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. I'll show you. There you go, there's your reward. Uh, you Will. found something? Hmm. Have to let you in. Hmm. Promised. Go around. The side entrance. Yeah, totally a psycho. Wait! A minute! <clears throat> You're safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in... Darn it. You fix? Yep. Mm, smart one. Yeah. Here. I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. Let me save you the ball. Yeah, he's definitely not who <laughs> he says he is, is he? There's very little doubt that he's the guy we just saw on his... Uh, I mean, would you want him preparing your food? Because I'm thinking no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Beast! Don't harm me! Yes, I've seen what you've been up to. Yeah, totally a legit chef who throws knives at walls. And stores dead bodies in his freezer. Yeah. And Abigail Foy. 
storage. I don't know why you won't pick up. I hope you're safe. If things get bad, I'll jettison a data vault and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. And Abby, please don't take any chances, all right? I... be safe. Now that one definitely deserved to die. He murdered the chef and then murdered God knows how many. So we'd have something to eat. Go bang on the window by the pool, okay. Unconscious. Mission success. Oh, there is some stuff here. What do you keep in your locker? Oh, bottle of whiskey, bullet, gun. You know, the usual. <laughs> oh, these two didn't make it. It's Danielle. <laughs> Trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. Not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Bang on the window. Hey there. Morgan? If you're here, then... Abby didn't make it, did she? Right now. I don't... I can help. I know you need to get into deep storage. I voice locked it, but I have the override that bypasses the random word input. Set your transcribe to record. Alex. Oedipus Complex. Pompous. Nepotist. No offense to your brother, but... That should be enough. There was someone else in crew quarters, pretending to be the cook. His tracking bracelet was from Psychotronics, but the ID didn't make any sense. He... killed Abby. I'm guessing you're the reason his bracelet went red. I owe you one. And so does Abby. Don't I'll see what else it. I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. Come in. Goodbye, Morgan. We did the, we did the good that we could do. Which admittedly wasn't all that much, but we didn't kill everybody. Were they co ed lockers? Or No. We did these though. Yeah. Well done finding Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. Well, we, we did the mock-up of her voice and then got her real voice. But meanwhile, what's upstairs? Oh, there's a dude at the bottom. Eh. Okay, we've got a telepath stuck outside. Not the only place I'd want him. My apartment, my cabin. Which is unnervingly like where we very first started some four hours ago. I passed with everything this. Memory log is uh, okay. Calvino, colleague, won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory, work obsessed, perfect medical record, no absences. Okay, Danielle. Full entry, 
Show, Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Big way. Big way. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about Tess. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Okay. Michaela? Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient. But false. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful, given the impending memory loss. Oh. I'm paraplexus. Paraplexus. Nerve disorder. Prevents use of neuromods. Requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration. Renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. Okay, and then Sarah El Elazar. Sarah Elazar. Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. There's my memory logs. I don't actually have a wardrobe in my real apartment, only in the um, sim apartment. That's good, isn't it? Okay. And who else is on this floor, I wonder? Oh, ne'er do well, brother, Alex. Don't have his key card. Uh, someone else who got took over. Shame. Can't do anything for them when they get like that, though. Folder. Nah. I wonder if we can get Alex's apartment keycard from the Arboretum. I think we prob probably can. Wrong one. We shall go and see. Don't annoy Alex. Because reasons. Thank you very big. Not enough room once again. Uh, okay, maybe if I eat a lemon. Excuse me. Oh God, how many?
<laughs> we're overloaded again. We've got max size inventory anyway. Okay. Couldn't do that. Okay, we're gonna have to eat a load of this food, I think. Uh, use one of them. Gonna just pig out, I think, for a minute. Normally, I like converting the food into organic matter from ammo. Yeah, don't have the alcohol. No, don't eat that. <laughs> I don't know where it's been. There we go. We've got a nightmare. Mimic. Voltaic dude. You've broken this on my way up. Seriously. Trying to hit him with a mallet sometimes. <laughs> Two of them then. Felt like two. Felt like two. Could have been a trick they were doing. Yes, yeah, so the webbing is coming. We will hack our way up instead. You can climb up as well. Not that hard. Come on, give it to me, Jet. Come on, ten seconds, you can do it. Yay! There we go. annoy the snot out of Alex. You used to sneak into my room when we were kids, hack into my computer. I still remember when you ruined my Galactic and Keystador save files. I broke your arm when I found out. Oh, a brotherly thing to do to your sister. Okay, that was weird. It's like trying to thread a needle wearing mittens. <laughs> but I'm still not fond of you messing with my stuff. Extend bridge. Okay. What have we got in here, Alex? Ooh, a safe. are your only option is to escape get the word out about what's happening on talos one alex has a private escape pod it's locked up i made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair you know the one i'm talking about no i don't listen there's more at stake this time than just us or this station if just one of those creatures made it back home then we're lost oh yeah I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. 
I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will soon. Okay. Up on top of the chair. Is what she needs? Nope. Top of the chair by the top. Not entirely sure. Wood the moon. <laughs> yeah. Don't even need a telescope to look at that. Yeah, that's the escape pod. I don't think we're going to be using, to be honest, but yeah. Okay, we're not doing too bad on ammo. Crew quarters is more or less done. There's a chair up here, do they mean here? the photos phosphate levels of plants blah blah okay oh sorry up and upgrade okay can we do stuff uh magazine accuracy i think on there where is it very musical uh and we need to find a recycler Or do we want to go range? Sneaking and zooming. I think go range. Make it as effective as we can at longer range. where they're all, all trapped as well. must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Ah. Okay, made enough noise opening that, didn't you? <clears throat> bit, bit dramatic, I thought. Right, let's store all junk. Yeah, let's get rid of the duplicates. I don't really use the Psy ability, so they can all go in. That should give us a ton of stuff to make ammo. I think we're going to need. Soto Mohoni, evil ominous spy. Welcome to the stream, sir. Right. So, uh, we've got 49 rounds shell whatever some more we got loads of bits to make those so we will I wish you kept your upgraded weapons from in new game plus but apparently you don't I'm about a hundred shells before I go in I think 
for max damage but not max reload speed and stuff like that. One more of them. And then we're definitely... Work's done. Time for some Fallout 76 for me. Well, someone's got to play it. <laughs> Apparently I hear it's not actually all that bad. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need to make that we don't have tons of already, so... Oh, wait a minute, what about... I've never really used this much in any of the playthroughs, because you don't get it till quite late on, and by which time you've used a ton of weapon upgrades on everything, so... It's not nearly as good as half your other weapons, except the range is really good. Hey! Hey, over here! Open this door! Oh well, I'm just Please. dealing with Can you get something. it open? There's something after me! Oh, Christ. Did someone just die on me? You, okay. We locked the doors in the greenhouse, but this one flies. We haven't had long to figure out the roof isn't covered. Oh, God. Okay. If I open the door, are they all going to die? I don't know. Mimic, really? Is there any other way in? She didn't make it. There's only the one door I can open, unless I go somehow climb to the top. From up there, maybe? If they open the door, is he just going to die? Well, we'll find out. I prefer not to inadvertently oh, kill people if I can. I mean, if they're, you know, monsters, well, that's different, but... Damn it. I'm a... One more, come on. Come on. Oh, so many red blocks. I hate them. Oh! Uh, no, it's, an, it's not. Uh, Bethesda game. It's an arcane game. Bethesda Soft, or the publisher. Don't die! 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 Kill him, did he kill him? Yes, he did. Screw you. Yeah, okay. Just can't kill it fast enough. No, Prey originally was by a completely different studio and was, in fact, a completely hey, different hey, game. Hey, over here! Open this door! Please! I will. Can you get it open? Yeah. Just... It's not that easy, dude. You could have shouted the password to me or something. It would have been a lot faster than this. Please! Okay, let's confuse it. Activate way clothes on. You just killed him right away there, didn't you? You arsehole. Well, I'm trying to open the door. He sees me and then this... Thing. Right, we're coming through. We're going to do a uh, jumping off the roof job. Hey, 
Hey, hey, over here. Ignore me, ignore me. You haven't seen me. Don't let the telepath know that you have. As soon as he knows you've seen, it's all going to go Pete Tong. from here. It's pretty far away, even from here. Oh, come on. Too big a jump. I need to get higher. Come on. That's it. Now we're getting that. The mimic and his mind controlled there. Doesn't have a roof, he said. I think maybe just dive in and shotgun to the face. these things <sighs> if I'm too close to it it blows everybody up right come on alpha oh, get up Yeah, Prey bought the um, the IP. Uh, Bethesda bought the IP from Prey when Prey 2 fell through, basically. Or while they were developing Prey 2. So this game is nothing like um, the first game or what the second game was going to be. Which is kind of a shame, really. Because the original game was good and what was looking for what was going to be a Prey 2 looked pretty awesome. Um, but we never ever got it, so, yeah. Right, where are you, horrible? Did you? <laughs> Did what it? happened? Where? Oh God! Please tell me you killed that thing. Eventually, I came up here to deploy the EATs, the Eradicator turrets. Then it was like all the color bled from the world. Everything had an edge to it. I, I couldn't control myself. I. But the EATs are still in the small arms closet nearby. We could still use them. Here's the code. 
I'm going to make my way to the cargo bay. Security was supposed to fall back there. <laughs> Sarah will have my ass if I don't. You're welcome. <laughs> and... Save game. <laughs> After all that. Right, where are we on? We're coming up on four and a half hours, and it's nearly 11 o'clock my time, so it's probably time to kind of call it there, I think. Yes, I do. Has been fun, though, I've got to say. Yes, indeed. Still a very good game um, on New Game Plus, but um, yeah. Tomorrow will be uh, Anarchy Online again. It's just like, I'm going to have Wednesdays as a kind of not playing Anarchy Online day. Where I just play some random game. And today it was Prey, but new, Prey New Game Plus. And that's as far as we got. We didn't do bad at all, I don't think. So, yeah. Thank you all for coming along. But it is time to say goodbye. So I say goodbye. All right, folks. Bye for now. <laughs>